Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to create a GPO, and apply it to domain users, for deploying a shared printer. Where you can use Group Policy to deploying your printer that works with USB cable, and not a network printer. And I will show you how you can do that. For example, I have a local printer, and I want domain users to use it. This is my local printer, and I want to deploy for domain users. First, you must share the printer. Double click on the printer. Then click on the printer, and from the menu click on properties. Then click on the sharing tab, then check the box, for share this printer. You can change the name, or leave it as it is. Then click on apply, and OK button. Thus, a share was made to the local printer, and this is the first step that you must take. The next step, is to create a GPO, to deploy the printer to domain users. Open Server Manager, and from it, click on the Tools menu, and from the menu, click on Group Policy Management. And after opening Group Policy Management, right-click on the Group Policy object, and from the menu, click on New. And in the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name, for this policy. And then click on the OK button. Then right-click on policy that was just created, from menu, click on edit. This will open group policy management editor. Then go to the left, and expand the preferences folder, under user configuration. Then expand control panel settings. And then click on printers. Then, go to the other side, and right click, you will see a menu, select new, then from the sub menu, click on shared printer. This will open a new shared printer properties window. First, in the action field, select update, so that it is always updated. Then in front of shared path, type the path of the shared printer, and if the printer is on another computer, write its path. If you don't know the path, you can open any window, and type the path of the computer on which the printer is connected, and it will appear for you. Copy the path to the printer, then paste it in the shared path field, and make sure the path is well. After pasting the path, check the box to make this printer the default. Then click on the apply button, and the OK button. Thus, the formation of this policy has been completed. The last step is to link this policy to the organizational unit that you specify. I'm well connected to the unit called test. Now we will move to one of the client's computers, to try sharing the printer in this way. Open control panel, and go to the printers section. Make sure that the shared printer exists. If it is not present, you have to do a computer restart, or write a command to update the group as a policy. Open CMD and type the command that appears in front of you on the screen, to perform the update, and wait for it to finish. After that, the shared printer will appear on the client's computer, and you can use it. I think it is a simple and easy way to share a local printer for domain users. Of course, there are many ways to share local printers, on the network, and for domain users, but I think this method is the easiest. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.